タイム Welcome to another exciting episode of Video Game Bang. Video Game Bang. Your weekly source for all things video game. Featuring your fearless hosts, Corey Vincent. I'm pretty much、uh, Microsoft and Marvel. The cans are on. The finish gets real. I don't know. You get shot、looking. during the day? And Aaron Carter. By the armor, I equip it, and it's like pink thong. The guy that delivers vending machine items in my, in my job. He can play <laughs> the r i g h t t h Fill up your Mountain Dew and grab your Doritos. It's time for Video Game Bang. The thirst is absolutely real. It is Sir Aaron Carter on the Video Game Bang live on nerdreactor.com. What are you reacting to? Brought to you by Corsair Gaming. Come sail away with us. Antlion is what you're listening to if you have the best headphones on right now. Hear the roar. Wow,、okay, you didn't、second. have it? Didn't have it? Okay, didn't have it yet. I made fun、yet? of last time. I'm not going to try it again. Did, never be afraid if you're made fun of, sir. Let me tell you a little secret. Is this I was made fun of. I was made fun of as a kid. I was made、right? fun of as a kid. Little known fact. I think we all were. I just、not、made、me. fun of you not that long ago. Exactly. I know. We'll get to、See? that. See? We'll, we'll,、uh, hold on to that, Jim. <laughs> wow.、Uh, Corey Vincent is with us, everybody. Hey, what's up, pizzas? Now, I'm on a diet. And、uh, have you ever calorie counted? Uh, yes, I have. And then I lost count and just decided to eat whatever the hell I wanted to. Yeah. Well, it's not that easy for me.、Uh, I have to go into this hardcore calorie counting. Why can't they take the MyFitnessPal calorie counter and apply it to a video game?、Um, like, give me、what? boosts <laughs> if I stay below my There calorie limit. There is、oh. something <laughs> kind of similar to that for the uh, I, uh, Apple thing. It's called Bitocracy. I want it to be like protein boost. Like, if you eat a steak. <laughs> You, know. well, I mean, you get, you get buffs. Yeah. So you can、yeah. eat like fries and be okay. Yeah. If you have、yeah. a lot of fiber, you get like poop booze. <laughs> that's so horrible. <laughs> oh, well, that's all I got. All my, right. Those are my、uh, thoughts for today. t h a t s terrible.、Uh, the show's over, everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs> the man that stole the second Ant Man suit, David、yep. Webb, is here. Hey, everybody. everybody. What's going on?、Uh, why are you dressed like a thief? <laughs> This is why. Well, let us know, please.、Uh, we were playing Smite and we、okay. got off, and I was like, oh, shit. I gotta leave. So I threw on a sweater and a hat and I left. Did not look in the mirror. At what point did you try and kidnap Kevin McAllister? <laughs>、um, it was about halfway here. That's why I was late. Okay. Because I had to make a stop. <laughs>、uh, I wear the beanies usually. Yeah.、Uh, but I've noticed as of lately you've been wearing more and more beanies. I used to wear them a lot, like before the show and everything. And、uh, I stopped wearing them and then I started. Oh, there you have it. There you go. After a long、Coming、hiatus,、up. she is back. The double M, everybody. Madison Mata, everybody. <laughs> Hello. You gotta go right up to that mic. New mic right, now. Put your mouth Hello.、Right. Hi. There、yeah. you yeah. go. Now, What let's, have you been? let's get into some business. Yeah,、uh, yeah. We gotta take care of this.、Uh, Madison, the first thing she said to me is, like,、uh, Where did you guys go? I felt so bad. Go, go ahead. What happened today <laughs> between you and Young Web? <laughs> Young Web. Wait. <laughs> What? Oh, you're, you're very involved in this.、Uh, I'm involved in this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was、What、so I rude and insensitive. Were you? Yes. Oh. You didn't, I you mean, didn't, you made yeah, you were. <laughs> Explain. Damn. Explain. <laughs> Explain. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Corey, you're making this so awkward. Okay. Oh, was it the large joke? It was a fat joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait,、uh-huh. I love how Webb calls、on. it the large joke. No, because. <laughs> like the all sensitive one. Like, call call it a, like calling a black guy African American is like、no. calling a fat guy large. No, because what she said. <laughs> That's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> okay, I know, I know what's going on. So, when we, when we were in the chat, I was mu- trying to multitask. So, I was reading something and I kind of heard you say it, but the way I took it was like complimental. If you will, <laughs> not s- like, not that she was、suck. calling you big, but that that was big of you. No,、oh, okay, more like because we're gonna bang web. Good and lord, so she said, Good thing that he's large enough. And I was kind of like, Okay, well, that was a weird thing for Madison to say, but whatever. And then, and then you laughed and you said something. I was like, Oh, I think that was a fat joke and not the way I was taking it. <laughs> whatever. Well, anyways, so, right, right. So he- You were going gross. Yes. <laughs> so, two m i s s Oh, two m i s s Yeah. There you, you go. Did you get that one, Corey?、Uh, well, I know it was Webb, and I, it was like, it's not like common for a girlfriend who doesn't know you very、it、well、wasn't. to be like, yeah, he's got a huge dick. That's why I was <laughs> like, well, that was, 
That was weird, but thanks. I guess we're on that level now. <laughs> I mean, usually me and friends well, hang out more before that topic is brought up. You should have just whatever. left it alone. You know, maybe he would have went on thinking it was great. <laughs> no, I did catch on. I caught on like a little while later, and I was like, "Oh no, that was a fat joke." <laughs> As always, everybody, the final member of the VGB here day in, day out, even when we're not even live, the chat, everybody. Hi, hello, chat. chat. Hello, chat. Hello, chat. Exactly. Uh, it has been uh, very cold as of lately. Is everybody feeling that, uh, that breezy? That's why I'm wearing a beanie. Apparently in the East Coast, if you're listening to us tonight uh, and you're bundled up in your igloo in on the East Coast, like New York or... Uh, Florida, no, not Florida. It's probably New York, oh. Maine, up north. Florida. You know? Apparently, it is snowing like crazy. So I've been seeing a couple of articles online. Oh, here's a couple of games you should play. You know, uh, while you're all bundled up in in. Uh, Do they have power? Yeah, I mean, I would assume it's something like yeah, it that. Runs off the snow, right? Yeah, <laughs> <you just snow>. <laughs> <laughs> powered forever. Damn it, we're out of snow. Can you go put more snow in the <laughs> snow generator? That's not what. The, okay, whatever. Uh. So I pose a question to all of you guys. Oh. If you were stuck for three months in your home because of a snow blizzard, and you can only have one game because you had Gamefly, and the guy froze right outside your door <laughs> delivering so, your so game. No <laughs> you just took connection. it off his hand and shut there's the door. There's no internet connection. There you go. See? Now she's getting it. What game are you playing? What game did the Gamefly delivery guy kill himself to get to you. Wait, are we using drones at this point? No, we're not. Okay. Because GameFly, they use human beings. <laughs> that's that's how they set themselves apart. <laughs> from, All right. I like the rest other. of it. I yes. like it. Okay. okay. So uh, he's frozen at your door. You have to chip out this game out of his hand. <laughs> and then shut the dead body. And then, and yeah, I mean, he did first. his job. So it's, you know, it's, it's done. And I've got three months. And you got three months. Yes, just three months. We're going like a kind of season thing, you know. Three months. I mean, that's easy. It's Uh-oh. Fallout 4. Come on. Wow. Like, that's the one game that's going to keep you con- like occupied for three straight months. Madison for Fallout 4. All right. That's fair. That is fair. Yeah. That is very fair. Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> that is. Webb, how do you beat it? See, I wasn't even thinking of any of the current games because I kind of figured most of them need an internet connection. That's but I what's guess tough, yeah. Fallout, I don't think you do, do you? No, nah, it's a single player game. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I don't I can't top that. I might have to steal that. I was going <laughs> to say I, it, without a current uh, gameplay doesn't do N64. I was going to say Star Fox 64. Yeah. I'd play that forever. Yeah. But okay. I'm going to change it to Fallout <laughs> because you don't have to have the internet. Okay, so cop out 64. <laughs> yep. And we got you, Corey. Well, 3 months frozen dead body outside your door. Um you know, I feel like it's going to be a long time uh, lonely. I, I see myself like being alone, stuck in this house. Uh, so I'm going to need a game with some female companionship. So I'm going to pick uh, a dating sim. Oh, <laughs> just any old dating sim? Anyone. Even one with pigeons. Your, wife, your wife isn't in this scenario? Uh, Clearly not, apparently. <laughs> she was the Gamefly delivery person she was the <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> who froze. <laughs> wow. I'm going with. What is this like? Um, Snowpiercer, where people freeze to death if they leave the train. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Exactly what this is. Yeah. Exactly what it is. Captain America eats babies, guys. I watched. Yeah, I, I watched the everything <laughs> wrong with Snowpiercer on YouTube. <laughs> that movie is. It seems like there's so much bad with that movie that he shouldn't have ever made that. Chris Evans. Yeah. <laughs> no. He shouldn't yeah. have made that. But I mean, then you wouldn't have that amazing monologue. Oh, where he confesses and everything like that? About eating babies? Come on, oh it's Captain gosh. America, guys. That's that's so terrible. <laughs> that's so terrible. Uh, where was I? Because now I'm <laughs> off track from the whole freaking... Uh, Aaron, what game would you pick? Oh, what game would I pick? Uh, I would probably go... It has to be someone with replay- replayability. Persona 5. So I see I've never actually even played Personas. Not 1 through 4 or even 5. It's Persona 5 is not out yet. Oh, we'll see. But there it's you go. coming. See? Oh, Had it's no coming. I had oh, no God. idea. That was very <laughs> creepy. You see, there she goes oh. again, making those oh, kinds yeah. of jokes. <laughs> that, we were talking about that. We were talking about Madison's voice, like, coming through the headphones. No matter what she said, it was just like, she has a very, like, the equivalent of Aaron's voice for a female. 
So like, we are going to so. dub porn, apparently. Yeah, if you two could dub, like, so much uh, we anime porn. porn. What's it called? Oh, what? hentai. Hentai. Yep. You came up with that one really we quick. Could, we could get paid. That was a test. Why you failed? We could make wow. <laughs> I've been hanging out with Larissa for too long. The chat says Skyrim. Yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy VII is another contender. Red Dead Redemption uh, got seconded. A lot of people into the Red Dead. Uh, SSX for the 360 and PS3 because that's my winter jam. What Game. was the last one? SSX tricky. Stop it. <laughs> tricky, tricky, tricky. I thought they were gonna make snowboarding. another one. Snowboarding. You're yep. gonna play a snowboarding game while it's snowing. I know. <laughs> Pick like a hot game. What? Like a game that takes place in hell. Pick Diablo. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, Diablo is in seasons, right? <laughs> Nobody yes. knows. Nobody knows. Yes. I don't understand that. <laughs> Somebody yes, please Diablo explain to season. me the seasons of Diablo. Because oh, Jerry man. was like, oh, I want to get back on this game. Because season I, three um, or whatever is up now. I haven't been playing since they ended season one. Had like that mini like month long season 1.5 and then moved on to season two. Um, so it's basically like um, you start up a season character and you get all this like special loot that you can only get during that season. Oh. And some of it's like named or legendary or whatever. But you do need an internet connection, right? Oh, uh, yes. You do okay, need so an internet connection mine. to play some Diablo. That's off my list then. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you get that legendary, you get that special loot in the seasons. And then at the end of the season, um, so you, you've got like a whole different loot roll system for the season characters. And at the end of the season, those characters, from what I understood, um, are no longer season characters. They just go into normal characters, and then you have it go. It, all that loot gets like rolled into the normal loot system. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. It's tricky. Interesting. It's they don't tricky. do that with a lot of games. That's interesting. I'm yeah. not 100% on that. That was just from what I understood when I was playing it. Oh, the internet will correct you. Like a year yep. ago. The internet will. They, they will go out of their way Corrector. to correct you. Yes, internet. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh, they will send you personal emails and Hate everything. Mails. Yeah. Hate mails. Of course, because I, I have a vagina. And uh, yeah. If there's one thing that is like deadly on the internet is to be wrong and have a vagina. Yeah, that's Quotes, very true. Quotes yep. from Madison. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got real for a second there. Psalms. <laughs> Psalms. <laughs> terrible. The Ten Commandments of the double M. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's terrible. All right, let's get right to it. Let's do some banging around the web. Banging, banging around, around the web. web. Did you guys know McDonald's has something very interesting coming out? <laughs> Is oh it the God. McRib? This is the people who made the McRib, so it could be anything. <laughs> McDonald's goes where nobody needed to go by creating the McCoco potato. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Chocolate-covered French fries. Chocolate-covered Frenchy fries. That actually sounds pretty good. I'm, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm excited Second, already. I'm, yeah. Second, I, I upvote that. No, because Chocolate I dip my French fries delicious. that and I dip my French fries in Frosties at uh, Wendy's. See, I, I've seen that tradition on TVs, movies, and, and and so forth, and comic books or whatever. It's America Dream. But I have never once dipped my French fry in my shake. Oh well, you're not white. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, it's a white. I thing. mean, I mean what, what gave it away? Uh, I don't know. People who haven't heard, seen you and just listen to the podcast, they would I mean. think this sultry voice is the blackest of the black. I understand. <laughs> The biggest nerdy white the, guy they've ever the seen. Darkest, <laughs> the darkest of the nights. This, uh, this is even more reason why we need to start dubbing hentai. Uh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, McDonald's <laughs> announced uh, that the launch of a new treat at its locations in where else? Japan. Japan. Right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, those looking for a sweet and salty dish, the McCoco potato is already uh, here to satisfy. It's a classy twist on the golden... Arches classic French fries dish, adding chocolate drizzle atop a delicious salty fry. I'm gonna have to say pass. That's just my personal. Oh opinion. my goodness! Have you ever had that like sea salt caramel chocolate? Oh my goodness! See, I've never. See, I don't know. I've or just like tough. salty brownie like chocolate. Oh, yeah, you chocolate don't like the caramel. salt. The salt, like the. <laughs> oh my! God, it's so good. We need to have you a have sexy been... off between Aaron and Madison. I'm convinced. Wow. Like, we'll just choose random words for you both to say and see who wins. And then all of a sudden, one of our listeners are pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> One of the male or female. Yeah. <laughs> we get an email saying, thank you, guys. 
<laughs> for having that sexy off. Here's little Derek. He belongs to both of you two. Three hundred dollars a month. Exactly. All right, so everybody put condoms on your ears. Exactly. Before we go. That works. Condoms on your ears. It's only ninety nine percent effective though. So if it true. travels from your ear to your <laughs> oh, reproductive system. Just think of the journey. You need that's, like a, that's a finding Nemo. You need all to be by exactly. That's a magic school bus episode. <laughs> Pixar, <laughs> Pixar makes that. Yes. Pixar get on I've it. I've seen that episode. Yes. <laughs> Sammy the sperm works his way from the ear canal all that the way. That is horrible. He fights the boss, you know, at the That's vaginal wall. That is the worst. <laughs> the worst. Billy Rivers wants to know, uh, what's Madison's favorite video game? Oh, there you go. Oh my there you goodness. go. Glad to see that uh, Larissa is still here when even when she's not that still here. That is such a loaded <laughs> question right now, you guys. That is such a loaded question. I just got done playing The Witcher 3 and freaking Life is Strange. I can't. You can't pick between the two. One's an open world uh, action adventure RPG. The other They're one both is so strange. <laughs> They're both oh, so I thought special. she was saying that life is strange right now. Like yeah, after she's strange. finishing. Um, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Life is strange is amazing. Um, they're special. Um, but overall, in my gaming history, and I really like the one that I always like to revisit and play, and I will always like give it as my like point blank like in your face answer is Final Fantasy X always. Um, I've heard a lot of this as of lately. Final Fantasy X. Yeah, everybody's saying it lately, but this has been my answer since I was 13 fucking years old, so take wow. it. Wow, wow. Um, <laughs> that was sexy. Take it. <laughs> um, well, we know what Corey's into. <laughs> yeah, no. Take it, Final okay. Fantasy. Yeah. Take this Final Fantasy, you fucking t- Terrible. Take it. Take yeah, it. I've always loved Final so Fantasy So did, would you I, rather have a HD remake episodic Final Fantasy X? Or this Final Fantasy HD reimagining Final Fantasy VII episodic? I, you know, honestly, I would have just liked if they added some online competitive blitzball to their remake. Oh, okay. I see. A little bit ago, and I would have been happy. I don't need a new HD remake. That game is fine as it is. Okay. Okay. Oh, Billy Rivers says you're wrong. Wow. Okay. And the so Final Fantasy 13. Let's the let's ask a, let's ask an opinion. <laughs> well, that's let's, pa- that was paraphrasing. Well, 13. <laughs> it, it was paraphrasing. 13. <laughs> I would like to see a remake of Final Fantasy XII, personally. That one is underrated, and I did not like the control scheme on it that much. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I remember. I I tried to replay it, and I just couldn't um, get into the the controls, and I couldn't uh, adjust them to something that felt more comfortable, and that just bugged me. Well, speaking of remakes or relaunches, Atari is bringing more than 100 classic Steam titles uh, in their new vault collection. Anybody Atari fans in here? Well, you will be after the new Atari compilation <laughs> is coming to Steam this spring. Featuring more than 100 retro games, including Asteroids. Everybody loves Asteroids, right? Competitive Love Asteroids. Compet- I'm, I yep. miss that generation of I'm on season four of uh, You're on season four yeah, of Asteroids? Yeah, we're season four. Okay, you bigger. Forget, Aaron, the we're not all 67 years. Uh, <laughs> we don't Centipede. All the what about Centipede, huh? It's a good childish game. That's my song. first. That's, that's all it is. Uh, Missile my Command. Right? Right, right. Space Tempest. Invader? All right, you lost. Sorry, it. Space Invaders not on this one. No. I actually have no idea. It just Galaga? it gives me Centipede, Asteroids, Missile Command, Tempest, and Warlords. Uh, one interesting feature on this one though is they're actually updating him, and you're going to have some uh, online multiplayer support. No, you say no, but think about all the compilations that come out for older games. Do they even give you that luxury? No, exactly. No, that's why I was actually. That was really like a no way. That's exactly. A, that's, impressive. that's like <laughs> the one thing that I want for old games to actually do is modernize their old compilations. Well, so if you got Super Mario Brothers two or something like that, you want to play online co op? Not online co op, <laughs> but at least there's always two players on these old NES games. Why yeah. can't I have an online? You know. Now you have Mario Maker. Yeah, that's another good one. Yeah, Mario Maker. But like, okay, so old school original Mario, you know. Player one, player two. Right. You got to wait your turn. Yeah. So if I'm playing online, old school, original Mario with you, I'm watching you do your run, and then it's my turn. Right. Uh, but I'm at my home. You're at your home. Online. How simple is that? I know the code has to be simple. Oh, so like we still have, yeah, still have to wait our turn. Yeah, you still have to wait your turn. You're getting that old nostalgic feel of you wait your damn turn until I die, and then it's your turn. Well, if you're gonna go, if you're gonna go as far as making it online, why not just play together? You have Mario are. and you Luigi. Because what if I want to watch you 
<laughs> make the mistake first. Okay, so we add. Think about Twitch. Everybody's watching Twitch right now, right? True. You're at home yeah. looking at Twitch, somebody playing They're the all game. They're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all 20 of them. That's all you got to do. Hey, 20. Same yeah. thing. <laughs> Uh, you know, Aaron, uh, talking about the remakes, this is kind of like what we talked about with Janice Davis on her podcast. Uh-huh. Like, we just were on the Janice Davis podcast, The Gamer's <coughs> Dominion, which I will link in chat. And uh, sh- one of the games that popped up was Resident Evil Zero. Yes. And we talked about yes. how the last Resident Evil that came out, they did zero upgrades to it except a facelift and extra costume. Exactamundo. And they left the load screens. Why would you leave the load screens, or at least give us the option to turn them off? And it's it's um it's one of those things where they I know they were like oh well we got to keep the the genuine feel of the old school game you know give the new kids but that type of thing. But load screens suck. Yeah, load nobody screen liked sucked. load screens. Who thinks I, of any game is like oh I remember those load when screens. When I first, <laughs> you, know, I, you know why I remember that's, them? they that's suck. That's exactly yes. why I stopped playing Psychonauts. But they. <laughs> 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 they the reason why I like the load Topical. screens back in the day when I first played the old original uh, Resident <laughs> Evil is because I thought I always thought something was going to pop out. I was like, the developers are just going to put something, you know, to try to scare the, you the right screen, there. The load screen ends and it's yeah, yeah, or, or happened during. I didn't know at the time that's what that was. Was it loading up the next little area of the the game for me? I thought oh. it was just like <laughs> this is building suspense for something that's going to happen. But you know, you get older, you get wiser, and you find out that this was just lazy developing. Up. Yeah. Um, but I mean, okay, you know. I remember in Tekken one or two, they had Galaga as the load screen. That That's was pretty, awesome. yeah. yeah. If you have a little mini game while you're playing, you know, more games should do that. FIFA does that when you're loading your your. They do. Uh, you're oh, right. you do free it's kicks. Like a yeah, you do yeah. little practice kicks. I mean, hey, the more you know, everybody. Which actually gives you like boosts your stats. Like it actually does something. It's not. Yeah, it's Just, beneficial. Yeah, it's beneficial, and that's what's that's what all games should be doing. So, if you guys like the ganja, you go to Amsterdam. Yep, that's true. Or you Oregon, what, or, uh, or Oregon. Colorado, or Colorado, or, Colorado. or, Colorado. or Washington, Washington. Humboldt or County, or, or Sacramento, Eureka, California. Eureka, because California. I mean, you usually just go anywhere you want because <laughs> weed is everywhere. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so is gaming, everybody. <laughs> but Amsterdam is doing the very first gaming hotel. Stay with me now, everybody. Is I, this I hear, like a I hear brothel the, for <gasps> video games? Yeah, there's <laughs> a a ho- gaming hoes everywhere, <laughs> and you just pick the one that's dressed like an Xbox, <laughs> <laughs> and you get to play with her all night oh, long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Push her buttons all exactly. night long. <laughs> the first hotel dedicated to serving gamers has opened up business in Amsterdam. It's called the Arcade Hotel. They couldn't be more creative with that name, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, is located in the city of... I'm going to butcher this Amsterdam name. Uh, you nailed that. Day Peepje? What? Perfect. Right there. Day Peepje. <laughs> that was the worst. <laughs> that was probably Wait, okay, I try it. anything. <laughs> right here. Right here. I'm. I'm Day peep, 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 <laughs> Even if they were trying to create a new the Pokemon pip-jup. and someone said that, it does kind no. of look like the, um, the Pulit. I don't really know how to say that little. See, pup little, lip. Yeah, pup lip. Or poop lip. Or Diamond <laughs> Devil, you just got banged. <laughs> hey. All right. Uh, each of its thirty-six rooms includes uh, <laughs> gratis consoles and game uh, and games. I don't know what gratis. How consoles. many consoles? It just says gratis consoles. Uh, you guess, get to keep them, take them home with you. Guests also can uh, mm-hmm. use loaner handhelds for multiplayer adventures at the hotel bar. Uh, there's a comic book library. Uh, that you can, um, you know, peruse. Uh, I'm taking my Pokemon Go there. You have to. You have to. Owner Daniel Salmovic (laughs) uh, told uh, this website, uh, he's remodeled the hotel, specialized for people who love video games. I wanted to create a place where the travelers uh, and gamers feel like staying at their friend's house, uh, or at least at their parents' basements. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) I love Starless says, Wi-Fi is only $50 a night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only. I think it, I think free. I think that's what gratis console is. That was a free console. Gretel, free console. So you don't have to cuz I just googled it. You okay. don't have to pay to play the game. You oh, okay. Play. Unlike like the uh the little snacks that they have in rooms where Oh yeah, those like are a thousand bucks a piece. Yeah. For peanuts. Daniel yeah. Darkly just got banged. Hey, Daniel Darkly. 
I'm not uh, sure why it's not playing the audio. I don't know. Why Are we either. not doing the wave when people subscribe uh, anymore? Madison's like, I've been wanting to do the wave since the last time yes, I was on the yeah. show. <laughs> All right, let's do a wave. We got three of them because we had three new followers. All right, so three, three waves, waves around. Yeah, three waves. All right, here we go. Uh, so it's going to go me, Aaron, Madison, and Webb. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. And she didn't oh, even do it. I totally Weren't she you the froze. One? Speaking of she ganja. She froze <laughs> so hard. Weren't you the one who said? She froze so hard. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> Third time's a charm. We're doing it now. Right. First of all, that was the second. That was time. the first time. Yeah, that was the first time. So this is gonna be the second. Sheesh. Here we go. My last name is Moda. Chat suspects <laughs> that there's some alcohol going around. Yeah, little, it's not Red Bull. Little drinky, drinky. I'm trying to cover for you, so. but I don't know how it's gonna work. Let's <laughs> drink responsibly, everybody. All right, you ready for the wave? Let's go. Ready? Let's go. go. Let's do it. One, One two, three. three. Whoa! 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 And that was three. Okay. Um. He's like, all right, get the, back the, to business. The way w- a wave works. <laughs> she was just going up when I went up. She was going <laughs> on a Tuesday. Whenever the fuck she oh, wanted yeah. to go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so and you I'm stay not as there. good at it as um, these kids from, um, have you seen that kazoo episode yet? <laughs> kazoo? What? What are we talking about? Uh, it's on my DVR. <laughs> This kid with a kazoo. It's hilarious. There's a full episode of <laughs> something. I'm a kid with a kazoo. <laughs> On YouTube, sorry. He just figured I out call, a kazoo. I call all YouTube videos episodes now. Uh, they basically It's accurate. They basically We do are. drug tests on this podcast, by the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. Coming up in the second segment. <laughs> yeah. Before she leaves, she will urinate into a cup, and we will. Drug <laughs> test roulette. One see thing I happens. didn't see in this article was the price of said uh, hotel. This would be crazy. <laughs> Well, it's going to be in euros. Oh, yeah. It's so, oh, yeah, even, it's so be euros, yeah. <laughs> so, let's say, wait, is it euros? It's 50. Amsterdam, I think, is euros, yeah. Okay. I think so, the in Amsterdam. if it's 50, say it's 50 euros. Okay. It's going to be like $100 for us. It's almost twice. Okay. I'm not paying that. Yeah. <laughs> so, more accurately, say it's 250 euros a night. We're looking at like four or 500 year, uh, dollars a night. Yeah, they do use the euros. I just Googled it. Cool. So Nailed it. There you go, everybody. Euros. Get your euros Geography. ready. Geography. Uh, but I want to know, do they have the latest games? You know what I'm saying? Is the Wi-Fi strong? You know, that's exactly. I don't want Wi-Fi. I want, can I get, I want a landline. Can I get, or yeah, is the landline. I want to be connected. Internet connection <laughs> strong. I'll just put it that way. Uh, can I get room service of a, a hot girl changing my games? Every time I need my game changed. <laughs> I need you to blow into my cartridge. Baby. Exactly. <laughs> um, it's a like, disc search. These, blow are, these are all things <laughs> I want to know. These are all things I want to know. And then there's only 36 rooms. And are the games in English? And are the games in English? <laughs> there you go. Not Just Dutch. totally skipped over that <laughs> one. Like yeah. Because he asked the real question. That is the yeah. real question. Because I couldn't even say the name of the city it's in. De, de Pibje. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> let's go through this next one right here. Everybody caught up on the Arrow and Flash saga on uh, the TVs? I've actually no. given up on the whole thing. You fool. Uh, okay, tell me I why. never even gave it the chance. See, she didn't even I give it the chance. I friend zoned that shit so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I saw... The, wow, not even a handy? I saw the best video... The other day on friend zones, <laughs> it was a friend zone, um, uh, like like an AA meeting, but not for the guys that were in the friend zone, for the girls. And the guy that was running the meeting was like, "All you lonely hoes are gonna die lonely <laughs> because you friend zone all you your friend guys." Zoned everybody, yes. yeah. Uh, and he was trying to like talk them through. It was hilarious. Uh, if you can find it on the internet, you should. This is why you should get back into <laughs> watching The Arrow, at least. All right. DC Comics announces Vixen is coming to Arrow. Mm, huh? I saw that. Why? What do you mean, why? Who is this? Vixen is a uh, superhero who has the ability to take on the uh, traits and characteristics of different animals. Why is she important? So she's an anamorph. <laughs> Thank turn you. In, she doesn't turn into the m- animals. Though. Oh, she just sticks on the person. No, she has like this little uh, amulet or whatever, and like if she wants to be as strong as an elephant, oh, you know, okay. boom. Sometimes she could be kind of catty though. Yes. <laughs> Is it like Have the Jackie the, Chan the adventure of talisman? That <laughs> Kylo Ren. Animal? She has like that. Yes. Exactly. Now okay. you're getting it. She, okay. has, she has a Jackie. Now you're getting it. She's Jackie Chan. She's Jackie Chan <laughs> from She's the Jackie animated Chan. series. 
Uh, it's okay. taken, oh, that's right. It's taken four seasons, but Vixen is finally. Wait, I've seen that show. Interrupted <laughs> me. <laughs> Jackie Chan when he. Larissa, you're here. <laughs> it's, 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 she never left. It says, if she never left. She's probably puking her guts out right now, channeling all her energy. Uh, so, briefly joining the cast of Arrow, and the CW has released its first official shot of her, played by, I'm going to just kill these names tonight, uh, Megalyn Itchikunwok. Nailed it. Yep. <laughs> it's clearly African. <laughs> right there. Itchikunwok. Itchikunwok. Yep. Itchikunwok, everybody. It's canon. Yeah. Uh, I'm showing the people a picture of her. Uh, She's pretty hot. Pretty damn hot. Yeah. Here you go if you want to see Mrs. Mata. Uh, Aight. Yeah. Right. (laughs) She's aight. Etchin Kuwok looks very uh, pretty dope in her role. She stepped into the animated series Vixen. uh, Also opposite Arrow and lead Stefan Emil last year. Uh, She said, when I started thinking uh, about her character, I really felt right and made sense because I do something... I do sometimes live in the fantasy world where I'm a hero and I help people. That's what she told DC Comics. I so can feel it. I can feel tested. it. I yeah, yeah she had girl. to be drugged. So you, you live in the fantasy world and you save people? <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, she said, I do feel like sometimes just in my regular life, uh, I'm called upon to be the strong one uh, and be the heroic one. I feel it. Yeah, yeah. So what they did, uh, I think last year, they actually had an animated series, which was a tie-in to the actual TV series for Flash and Arrow, uh, where it was Vixen. She had her own little series or whatever. Oh, okay. But it was all animated. And I believe they had the voices of the Flash and Stephen I started watching one. Clone Wars. Did you? Yeah. The old school Clone Wars? The animated one. Ah. You know why I didn't watch that? Why? All prequel. Did not care about what happened in between episodes I don't know. two and three yeah like, yeah why? honestly i started watching it because my kid likes the pew pews oh well, I, there you go. I watched it i watched a couple episodes but it's way too campy for me like the jo- like the battle droids uh-huh. have like personalities and like they tell jokes i've like noticed that, that. I'm, like, I'm, like, that. I'm like why why aren't they just you know just telecommunicating roger, roger. Roger, Roger. Mm-hmm. You, you yeah. wanted them to be just soulless. I bots. wanted them to be like they were in the movie. Yeah. Cool. I it's the one thing those that movies too. got right were the battle droids. Those battle droids are pretty annoying. <laughs> so uh, it looks like Arrow is ramping up for his next season or whatever, continuing the mid season split, mm-hmm. whatever they're doing or whatever. Yeah, mid season. Did you see premiere. the new pre- uh, promo for it? <laughs> International promo? Confirmed no. those rumors that somebody is getting. A little yeah. uh, no, because I ha- cherry. I haven't watched the mid season finale yet uh, of Arrow. You know what? They just don't leave anybody dead. I, I, that's really. I saw a headline of a character coming back to Arrow, and I'm just done. Who, that who, one chick who? got killed. Now she's in the Heroes of Tomorrow. Another dude was supposedly like shivved in prison, and now he's coming back. Everyone- who got shivved in prison? Oh, you're talking about um. His his sidekick. Oh, kick? you're talking about uh, Arsenal. But that wasn't no. He, that, no, that, that was, was a setup. That was a setup. He never died. He wasn't supposed to die. That's eh, all the same. They all no. never died. They went to an alternate dimension. It's all. They've bullshit. had character. Look, Ra's al Ghul is dead. Is he not? He'll be back. As far as we know. As far I as we know. Promise. He's gonna come back and I take sh- Merlin. Yeah, he's yeah. got it. Season five. I promise you, he'll be back. Yeah, I know. Season five. I I actually didn't like. That was probably the one thing that I did not like about Arrow. How what? they handled uh, Roz's character, like towards the end of his whole saga, because I liked okay. I liked his introduction, yeah. loved, absolutely loved. I've watched that scene on YouTube. I've watched that episode on YouTube so many times. <laughs> right? Episode on YouTube, uh, <laughs> where he fights him for the first time, where uh, Oliver fights Roz yeah, for the I'm first time in the snow, one. and they're on the mountain. Uh, I saw that. Yeah. Was that the first time they fought? The first time they fought. Right? That's, that's when he that's, when he gets stabbed. That's when he catches the pushed. blade with his chest. And then he right? Hiroshima Kazushi whatever from <laughs> Tekken Tim. Just because. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and when I saw that, I was like, "Yes, DC, that's right. Arrow could never beat Raza in a one-on-one fight. He would get stabbed in the gut and pushed off the side of a mountain. That's how you should, you know, handle it. But then fast forward through a whole season, and he's just one on. He's he's on par. He's good. He's on par with everything yeah, he's that on Roz par with, Yeah, exactly. Said. What? He's on par with Raz Al Ghul. Exactly. No. That's why I was like, I was done with that. I was done with that one. Yeah. But whatever. You know, it's the TV world. We're getting a black superhero, you know, coming Anything in. Anything can happen. Vixen. Anything. Anything can happen. Somebody's uh, in a wheelchair. Whatever. Is Vixen. Okay, so I'm I'm not as DC competent okay. as some people. Okay. Is Vixen like a big like character? Not really. 
So when they say it's taking four seasons and Vixen is finally here, they're that's hyping. loose. Okay. Yeah, they're okay. they're they're loosey goosey and okay. crap out of that one. Um, uh, DC also dropped their trailer for the Suicide Squad. Did everybody see that one? Yes, the I didn't second watch trailer. It. I saw the drop of the uh, the the teaser. No, the poster. Uh, oh, like, yeah, wow, yeah. Wow, everything psychedelic. I see of this just looks stupider and stupider. I, and see, Corey had a uh, thing, because I said it's going to be in one of the top three hero movies I of, this, see, of this year. Mm, I, that, see I don't know. Friday, I, Friday, top Friday, five. Sunday I'm going to give you top five. I would say top five. Okay, let's let's run down the list real quick. Superhero movies that are coming out this year. You got Deadpool, right? Yeah. You got X-Men Apocalypse, right? Yeah. I'm not saying good or bad. I'm just right, you're just naming, naming the ones. So yeah. Deadpool, X-Men. Captain America, Winter Soldier. Civil War. Our Civil War. Yeah, Close. Civil War. <laughs> yeah. I, that's I mean, the one Winter right. Soldier will be in yeah, it. Yeah, Captain America, Civil War. <laughs> uh, is Doctor Strange coming out this year? Um, I thought he was... Like, Sorry, that's the one I'm looking forward to. If you haven't noticed my thing with Captain America yes, yet. Yes, I have. Definitely. <laughs> you have uh, a thing for Captain America? Hell yeah, that guy is awesome and sexy. And <laughs> he doesn't <it> cuss. <laughs> uh, I know it seems like so opposite for you. Uh, I know, see. right? <laughs> Doctor Strange, 2016. Okay, so you got oh, Doctor so Strange as okay. well. Yeah, you got Batman v Superman. Mm-hmm. No, Iron Man and Captain America are just my jam, and that's why Civil War is. I think that's it. Exciting. I think that's going to be the best <laughs> and one. That that is squad. So Batman v Superman. Too, I agree. You're no. done. Okay, no, no, no. I was going to no, say you're done. Civil War, I think. <laughs> Oh uh, no! Yeah, War. okay. Civil I'm putting that one at top. Yeah, Civil War is number one. <laughs> Civil War is definitely number one. You you can't dispute that. Uh-uh. What do you get? Number two. Uh, number two, Deadpool. Deadpool. Yep. I could agree with that. Uh, I'm going Deadpool. Do you think Deadpool would be tied for number one with Civil War? Do you think it's gonna no, be that good? No, no. Because no. Deadpool, Deadpool, it has the 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 Deadpoolness, yep. you know, of an R rated movie accurate, type yeah. of thing. Uh, it has also the roster of characters from the Marvel Universe yeah. that you can be like, okay, I like seeing those people that you don't really know, but I know, you know, Colossus in there, yeah. you know, and, and stuff like that. Um, but the roster of Civil War, even though it's not as big as the comic roster, it, it's still... You think it's just it, going it to be kills. more of an epic. Yeah. Yeah. It, it kills. No, that, that makes sense. I think okay. Suicide Squad might make it to the three spot only because, just because there's a lot of superhero movies coming out this year, they're not all that great. Uh, you, unfortunately, I think I'm ranking them Captain America Civil War. Okay. Uh, Doctor Strange. No. Yeah. Uh, over Deadpool? Oh, yeah, over Deadpool. You're De- crazy. Deadpool, then uh, Suicide Squad. So number four. Yeah, probably four. And then X-Men Apocalypse, and then X-Men. Bat- Batman versus Superman. X-Men and Apocalypse and Batman versus Superman are on the exact same level. Yeah, they're both going to be not on the list. That's number, yeah, that's 20. I think X-Men's going to be better <laughs> than the five, Batman they're versus they're number Superman. 20. Uh, they're both going to be terrible. That's like yeah, that's saying. That's just because Olivia Munn is in uh Oh, you're X-Men. right. Fuck. That's like no, saying never that mind. dog that... crap is better than that dog crap. You're right. Because never it came mind. from a shit suit. The and new that X-Men looks like Pitbull. shit. You're right. I yeah, remember it's all now. Terrible. It looks like shit. But here's why Suicide Squad is going to be at least number three. Okay. Will Smith. Laid on us. <laughs> Will Smith. <laughs> Wait, so you're putting Doctor Strange in four spot? I Because I haven't seen anything for Doctor Strange. I trust Marvel, 100%. So this isn't a but, s- set in stone list. Yeah, this isn't a set this in is stone. A this fluid, is a soft. As of right now, this is a sand what list. we're expecting. This yeah. is a sand lift list. It I shifts. Just, sand stone. I just really want to talk about Pride and Prejudice Zombie Hunter right now. Isn't because that, that, that one. That was 2017, though. No, no, no. It, it's, it's, is this year? It's February fifth. I want it so. I want to watch that one. Here's why Suicide Squad will be number three. <laughs> that one will be an awesome movie because I've seen trailers for that one. That will be an awesome movie, and it is based on oh a goodness. graphic novel as well. Oh my goodness! But for That's superhero so movies, yeah. Uh, one, you're not taking any of the main known superheroes from DC mm-hmm. and putting them. Uh, in the forefront of this movie. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it? it's not about Batman. It's not about Superman. It's not about the Green Lantern. It's, it's not, not the about Justice the Flash. League. It's not the Justice League at all. They're, they're background characters. Cause, because, I mean, if you think about it, all the main characters in the Justice League that are heroes don't really have a personality. And these villains, they're not even 
I mean, are they main? Would you classify them as they're main villains? They're not really main villains. I've never no. liked any of them to begin with. Exactly. Yeah. They're, they're just throwaway kind of characters. There. Right? Throwaway yeah. characters. Except for like Harley Quinn. I don't even freaking Joker. like Harley Quinn. Sorry. But she's a fan favorite. But she, you can't deny. Look at Halloween, everybody. Yeah. Go figure. Look at Sack at, Anime. Yeah, look at Sack okay. Anime. Whistle How many Comic-Con. people cosplay look at San Diego as Comic-Con. this woman? <laughs> she, That's exactly why I don't like her. She's, she, like she's freaking, oversaturated. She's oversaturated. Right? So is Deadpool. We're getting a Deadpool and a Harley Quinn exactly. movie in the same year. Exactly. Oh. And that's why I think Deadpool's. I'm not going to enjoy it as much as everyone else will. Because I don't like Deadpool just to like Deadpool. I see him as a mid-tier character. In I think Deadpool's better than Harley Quinn personally. They're on the same level. They to can me, be. They're they on the same date. level. They Maybe. Can date. They Maybe. probably have. They're on the same yeah. level of annoyance, but I think that Deadpool is slightly more entertaining. Okay, I can see. I can see where you're saying that. So throwaway characters, we don't need them, right? So no. they're not that important. Uh, we have decent actors playing the roles, decent to good, I would say. Right in the different roles. If you call Will Smith decent. Wow. And then you have the story, The Suicide Squad. Yeah. Which is notorious for cycling rosters of their team because they die. So no one's safe. Literally, headshots can take people out and you're done. So so somebody is bound to die. No, not not somebody's bound to die. A lot of people are going to die. It's going to end up with Will Smith. Probably, yeah. Survivor. Most likely. It's gonna I'm, be I'm, I'm, legend I'm all not going to bang it. That's like, the end of my story. <laughs> like, little, literally, little, Will Smith is probably the only one contractually that's can, <laughs> that can not die in the movie. Him and Harley Quinn. Most Wait, likely. Will Smith's in this movie, too? Exactly. Wow. Okay. I was just talking <laughs> talking to Jamie about that. Uh-huh. Dude. I'm like, I guarantee it. Every time he, like, snipes somebody, he's going to do his uh, trademark. Woo! Woo! Oh no! Yeah, <laughs> that was the most unenthusiastic we were. Yeah. I remember heard Will Smith go woo woo. woo. Yeah, um, he's Ric Flair. <laughs> yeah. What is it that I am? I am Legend was uh-huh. the yeah. one with all the yeah. Yeah. I just remember when that movie was in theaters. Some guy yells out like "Circle Jerk" in that one scene. Jeez, <laughs> who the hell yelled out "Circle Jerk" in the movie theater? Yes, some douche. <laughs> yeah, right. I wouldn't want to be in that movie theater. I tell you that. Uh, I, that is the most I remember about that movie. I read an interesting article mm. about Suicide Squad. Okay. Uh, because a lot of women are uh, unhappy with the with the movie because, because of Harley Quinn, right? Harley Quinn and Katana. They're saying that uh, never do you see Harley Quinn so sexualized. That's a lie. In like. That's the cartoon or in the comic. Wait a minute. Yeah, let's That's go. That's all she is. That's all she is. Well, no, yeah. not sorry. Okay. She's Joker like, bang dress, candy. The way she's dressed. She's Joker bang candy. She's not as, but does she wear as skimpy as clothing as she does in the movie? Um, If they're going off of the Sometimes old, skimpier. if they're going off the old cartoon, no. <laughs> yeah. You, you can't, you can say but no. What about the comics? The comics. Yeah, it's, even worse. You can yeah. get away with more in the comics. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And well, they're maybe. saying that that Katana should have she has armor, but she has more. She of a has a lot of different. Th- she has a lot of different looks in the comic yeah. book. They can't. They do like twelve different costume changes with her yeah. guys. Come on, and so, yet I guess. And then the article I was reading, uh, they were saying, but then like you have Killer Croc, who rarely ever has like a shirt on or anything, and he's like bundled up in like a jacket and a hoodie. And did they not watch the new that. trailer where he's shirtless, beaten up? It was people. just an article I was reading. Because uh, Reagan's he was on Forbes.com is what happened. Yeah. Forbes again. He was on so Forbes was. strikes again. Yeah, I think it was Yahoo. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of looks for Katana. That's your first it's... problem. Is Yahoo even a website still? Yeah. 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 What do people go there for? They're wait, lost. Yeah, a... <laughs> <laughs> lost. <laughs> Couldn't find Google. They meant to type in Google.com. Yeah. And Bing is down, so <laughs> they went to Yahoo. They're illiterate. That's what it is. Weird. It occasionally asks to be the home web page of Internet Explorer. Oh God! Is it still a? <laughs> is it still a search engine? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's still a search engine. Wow. All right. If Bing is still a Google search it. engine, Yahoo. Yeah. Google it. Google. I'll Google, Google Yahoo right now. <laughs> yeah. They'll tell you that is not Bing found. It. So you can see, I don't. I'm not as familiar with these characters. You guys so I, should. I wasn't entirely sure how Bing accurate guys. that was because Harley Quinn. I've always seen as a very sexualized character. Spoil spoilers right here. Harley Quinn, Will Smith, and Captain Boomerang will not die. The rest of them will die. That's basically what's going to happen. 
So there you go. Sorry to spoil the movie for everybody. That's how it's going to go down. I don't even really want to watch it to begin with, so no no offense taken. But Corey already said it. The reason why it most likely will be the third anyway is because it's it's already a shallow pool of crap. So <laughs> Yep. You know, there you go. I, and I don't understand the Deadpool hype. I still don't get why everyone thinks it's going to be this fantastic I think film. Deadpool is looking more entertaining than Suicide Squad, and that's it. I'll I, give I it that. It yeah, that's true. I think it'll be a good, but I, good I, movie. I, it's not going to be better than Doctor Strange. I don't know what Doctor Strange is right now. I think Doctor Strange looks kind of silly to me. Doctor Strange, just that, even if, I don't know, that I'm hooked off of just that uh, opening cinematic. Benedict Cumberbatch is playing Doctor Strange. Oh, yes. and the, the bat, the, the cumber? Yeah, what do we call I like him, him in Sherlock. The, I like him in Sherlock. Cumber. Yeah, the batch. What else, the what batch. Got it. What yeah, else batch. have you seen him in? Who? Um, Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, wasn't he one of the Doctor Who's? I don't know. No, he wasn't. See, you're done. You <laughs> see was, what I mean? No, he was Sherlock. He looks a little yeah. Sherlock. So like he I'm saying, I like him in Sherlock, but what con. else is he in? He looks Star a little Trek. bit like that, that guy from Venture Bros who is living with the uh, Doctor Orpheus. Oh, yeah, he does look like Doctor Orpheus as Doctor Strange. He does. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a good you know comparison. But I haven't seen him in anything else. Is he good in, <laughs> in, in uh, Star Trek? Yeah, would, he's good. Okay. I would really I like good to see Sherlock. Venture Brothers rebooted. Awesome. Yeah. That that I would like to see rebooted. He's going to be in Zoolander <laughs> 2. Yeah. Is he going to be in Zoolander 2? Yeah. More Zoolanding? Oh, the Cumberbatch. Yeah, Cumberbatch is... Uh, oh, and he, oh, he was also uh, Smog. The dragon. Okay, the that's that's not. Oh even. yeah, yeah, that's I recognize him. Yeah, but they that's not even a, on the dragon. He yeah, they like really did though. Ed Sheeran. No, you say that sarcastically, song. but they did do motion oh, cap. Morph. Yeah, you yeah. Can totally see his face in there. And, and, that's so stupid. And Ed Sheeran wrote the song. Ed, <laughs> what? That that fiery redheaded Irish kid. No, I know who Ed. Sheeran Ron Weasley. Is. Ron Weasley. Good lord. <laughs> Are we just naming gingers? Yeah, no, we, that's basically what we're doing. Andy, Andy Dalton. There we go. I have no idea that is. Karen Gillan. Uh, sticking with the last little bit of Ginger. actual uh, movie news for comic books, Spider-Man solo movie will be a web slinging into cinemas actually earlier than we expected. Good. Coming out tomorrow, everybody. Go to Yay! your movie theaters. <laughs> you didn't even know it was going down. We just pulled up Bethesda. You're just exactly. like the Oprah Wait, what? Of superhero movies. Yeah. Look under your chair. Everybody. <laughs> everybody get Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> you get Spider-Man. You get Spider-Man. One of the many reasons to be excited about <laughs> Captain America Civil War is that it will feature the appearance of Tom Holland as a new Spider-Man, which I'm excited for. <laughs> I, I, I want to see the little little kid get his <laughs> the little tight glory. We, yeah. Wait, we have an interesting comment. Another in the chat. Okay, Spider-Man? go ahead. Yeah, uh, we got a new Spider Man. Madison, what's the name of the redheaded guitar player guy that you were just talking about? The Ed Shireen. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's confirmed. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, they're like, why does she say Ed Sheeran weird and wrong? It's Ed, Ed Sheeran. 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 It's Sheeran. Yeah. Oh, Sheeran. Oh, okay, sorry. It's Ed Sheeran. <laughs> because I read phonetically. And it's uh, if you look at it with two e's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see why you say yeah. Ed Sheeran. Okay, yeah. I'll allow it. <coughs> uh, according to Variety, Sony has shifted the release date of the upcoming reboot from uh, July 28th Thank to you, July for 7th. Me. So <laughs> 11 days, or what is that? 21 days earlier. And yet they postponed Star Wars. Oh. Seven months. Unnecessarily, well, just because of greed. I believe it's because it was going to drop the same day as Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Dead Man's Tell No Tales. No, Sorry, yeah, Sam it was going to drop the same day as in the Wait, they're making Disney a new movie. Pirates of the Caribbean yeah, too. <laughs> starring Sam Jackson. <laughs> what? <coughs> they have a purple lightsaber and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently there's going to be another Jumanji? <laughs> what? <laughs> See, <Yeah>. nobody's <laughs> They're remaking the Labyrinth too, guys. Yeah, Come on. <laughs> they're doing everything over. <laughs> Get an original idea, Hollywood. It, it's too late, man. <laughs> they're it's milking way it. Too late. Fast Guys, yep, you know what? Do you think that this Labyrinth remake was even <laughs> discussed a day before Bowie died? Uh, it was discussed on his. Uh, you think like <laughs> the second he passed away? They're right, like, guys, all right, guys, he's dead. Let's do it. We they were on his deathbed. We don't have to put him in it. You heard the the flat line. <laughs> Somebody looked over and said Labyrinth. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, "Let's do it." <laughs> Labyrinth. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly boop. what you heard. Labyrinth. Boop. Oh, crap. And Hang on. Benedict boop. Cumberbatch is going to take do- David Bowie's place. Of course. Uh, who's No uh, one else. Or do you think they'll actually get a new musician? Goldust. 
That's who's taking his oh, place. God. Gold Dust from the no, WWE. No, 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 Drake. Oh, I, I'm yeah. <laughs> We're in it now, huh? Let's <laughs> <That's> go. <laughs> Go to Madison Cam. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just see what's going on over there. Drugs. <laughs> the psychedelic <laughs> opening to Doctor Strange. This is what opiates will do to you. <laughs> Please drink responsibly. Please everybody. drink responsibly. Uh, or don't. Yeah. Don't worry. We will get her an Uber back home. <laughs> uh, it says increasingly Spider-Man's new release date is just two weeks after DC's solo Wonder Woman film. Jeez. There you go. And then, of course, you got the Justice League reboot, uh, or part one, I mean, sorry. No, uh, sorry, really quick. Uh, st- uh, Starless says that Kanye should be the new la- <laughs> labyrinth. He would, yeah. He, he won't sign on unless he, he wins. He me of a man, huh? <laughs> what man, huh? He and Drake have to fight for the death. Yeah. Have fight to the death, No, they're going to fight for the death. Death will be <laughs> in the labyrinth. <laughs> And they both are trying to kill the themselves. Death. What is that movie with Key and Pill? Keanu? Have oh, you guys Keanu. seen? The, have you seen the trailer for that? No, yes. we were talking about that yes, earlier today. Yeah, that looks, great. that looks pretty funny. <laughs> that looks pretty funny. It's coming out tomorrow, everybody. Go check it out in movie theaters. It's a biography of Gianu, uh, Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves, everybody. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't get the name right to the, Keanu. That's, that's, a, so. that's a black cosplayer of, of Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Keanu. <laughs> He's from it's Hawaii. Keanu's as well. Keanu's African yeah. brother, yeah. Keanu. <laughs> terrible. Uh, speaking of poop, everybody, uh, did anybody buy Ark: The Survival uh, Evolved? I did, no, and I didn't. returned it immediately. Did you? You didn't like I, the, the peep, poop throwing? Uh, I played it for cannons? thirty minutes and got my money back. I'm gonna use it to buy Rocket League. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> I've heard Rocket League is really good. Rocket League is amazing, amazing apparently. Yep. Yeah. Well, you can play split screen on Ark now on your Xbox One with a new update, mm-hmm. everybody. So you can throw poop together. The game wasn't even fluid single player. This is why I brought this up, too. Because I had a, a co-worker of mine, actually my boss at work, he asked me about Ark. He was like, my kids want to buy this game on the Xbox I One. I wanted it, too. Yeah, but it's not finished, really. No. One of those early access games, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's one of them Steam Greenlight projects. And so he was like, if I buy this, will they ever get the full game? And I was like, yeah, like. Yeah, you buy it. It's yours. Like what? That's it. Is like that? there's, you get all updates. But I told him I'm like, it's not a complete game. So they are gonna buy an incomplete game. Yeah. What he did with his kids next will blow your mind. God damn it! He pooped his. <laughs> <laughs> he threw poop at them <laughs> in the game. No, wow. so I mean, it's one of those games where it, it doesn't come out and uh, fully. It's just like I'm really sick of this whole quote unquote early access. To video game stuff it just it tricks so many people thank you minecraft uh no you can you can blame uh no greed yeah no i guess you can blame minecraft Corporate america but minecraft <laughs> didn't minecraft didn't say early access when it came out did it yeah i, I mean it wasn't was early access you, it was if this game is unfinished you're essentially buying access to the beta yeah it's 15 euros now or um, it'll go up to 25 euros when the game releases. That's and then when it hits American market, I was like one of the first 50,000 people to buy that freaking game. I'm but see, it evolved into a, a, a massive hit. And I think that's what people are rolling their dice on whenever they get these early access games. Is this going to be the next Minecraft? That's the bar. Yeah. And that bar is in space. That's so what they try to do. Yeah. I don't they think anybody's going to reach that bar no. anytime soon. Minecraft. No, that bar has been hit. Minecraft is wow. Like you're not going to find yeah. you're not going to find another MMO that captivates people like World of Warcraft did. I'm sorry. There uh, you go. Minecraft reminds me of a great Hitler joke. Have I ever told you guys? Uh, let's yep. not do that. Okay. Hitler did. joke, that's so terrible. Right. That's Whatever. that's horrible. Fine. Uh, mm. who likes the game Destiny? Web no, I'm off it. Madison, you, you give it up? Destiny? I got the patch. Mm. Oh god. I haven't I haven't even got Tinkin King thing whatever. Tinkin I King. I, <laughs> I got to level 7 3 years ago. Was it 2 or 3 years ago? Has that game been out that long? Been out <laughs> <for> <laughs> Web's <laughs> like no. <laughs> Four days. It's been you, yeah. <laughs> Web, I'm surprised Web is not like nut hugging it still because you were on its cojones for a very long time but after we all told you to stop. Yeah, but you were on its cojones in the beginning as well. Before, yeah, it just I, took I me on, longer to get to get off. I was on its cojones before it came out. 
And then after it came out, I tried I for, I tried to force feed myself that game, and then realized that it was a shit game, and they ripped us all off. Well, wait, were you w- playing Taken King? I've I played Tank Ting Ting. Uh, <laughs> Ting Ting. I played Tank Ting Ting for like <laughs> two hours and already burned through that whole storyline. So I was like, it's more of the same. Yeah, no, I yeah. couldn't get past level seven. I knew that game was shit as in before I even bought it. I only bought it because the PS4 was white. Now, here's a rumor, though. <laughs> wow, we, we need to unpack that one a little bit. <laughs> well, when you get a little inebriated, it all just comes spilling out. And the Jews. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then that's it. And then how Hitler. Long, yeah. How exactly. long did I have to wait for a white one? Yeah. <laughs> Made in America, not by them Asians. That's why I don't, that's why I don't have a Keurig yet, because exactly. they don't make a white one. <laughs> I've been hearing that so much at work now. Keurigs. That's so Anyway. Actually, I wish I would have held out for the um for the old school uh gray. Oh, the 20th anniversary gunmetal gray. Oh, that one's so pretty. <laughs> rumor I has like it. Than rumor one. has it that Destiny Two, yes, you heard me right. No, I know. Destiny Two, uh, will not make an appearance until late September 2016. Wait, yep. this year? Yep. So for now, this is just rumors, Corey Matthews. This is just rumors. I feel like I need to play the Adele song. Uh, hello? Rumor has it. Terrible. Uh, <laughs> according to Kotaku, who's very reputable. Uh, yes. Uh, exactly. Sure. <laughs> it's been delayed out sharply uh, to September 2016 release windows. Uh, there's been uh, alleged leaks of uh, official court documents that are pointing towards Destiny 2, even though, even though uh, Bungie has never actually come out and said, hey, there's a Destiny 2. But then they're coming out with that one Tom <coughs> Hardy game and Tom Clancy, whatever. say Tom Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Bane's <laughs> single player story or something? Okay. Tom Clancy or whatever. Uh, Bunny um, said it will be focusing on events like Sparrow <laughs> Racing, of course. Tom Hardy's <laughs> siphon filter. Yeah, that's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Tom Hardy's The Division. Uh, <laughs> that's it! <laughs> Tom Hardy. That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> So <laughs> what, I mean, if these rumors come true, that there is a a Destiny two coming out, and soon, by the way, yeah, this year, this year, soon. Oh my goodness! Wh- what is what is Bungie? Do- what is your company doing, Corey? Bungie. This is, your, is not my company. This no, is thank your, you. I have severed ties. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm now a three four three studio. That's terrible. Yeah. Yep. Like that's this is why would you even have documents circulating in the world? That there's a part two of this coming out of a game that you said is supposed to be around for how many years? Ten. Ten years. There shouldn't even be a napkin around your company that says Destiny 2 on there. No. No. Like, Unless I, it's saying Destiny 2 is in, hey, we should play Destiny 2. Or yeah. We should can Destiny 2. Exactly. They like, know as well. That they can't keep you playing for longer than a couple months, so they need to keep getting your money. Yeah, but like a whole new Somehow. one. But then keep doing. Hype it. Expansions. Marketing. Don't come out with. The- Marketing. It's, 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 that's upsetting. As a gamer, and if they're and you said they're focusing on sparrow racing, that's gonna be their big headline. Other other updates, I just yeah, but that's gonna be their that's gonna be one of the bigger headlines. Sparrow racing, yeah. <gasps> you don't like sparrow racing? I'm gonna give you two I words. Did try I can it. see businessmen. I'm gonna give you two words about the next. Have you guys seen Star Citizen? Sparrow <laughs> racing. Mic drop. Labyrinth. Leading over <laughs> lunch. Labyrinth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lunch is on me, guys. Chicken chaser. What do you guys want? That's Chick Fil A. I mean, it. <laughs> It's terrible. Now all these people that spent all their money on emojis and uh, uh, what was the dances called? Are they emotes? Emotes. Yeah, emotes. emotes, I mean. Yeah. You're going to get screwed over because part two is going to come out and it's going to be amazing. (laughs) God. It's going to be everything you wanted in part one. You know, they're going to have a lot of proving themselves to (laughs) you. Oh, my gosh. It's, It's so upsetting. Uh, Destiny's also doing this thing for uh, Valentine's Day where they're changing all the trees to kind of a pinkish red hue as well, everybody. So get your loved oh, ones and go sweet. in there and, um, you know, do whatever. You got one minute, Mr. Carter. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to the Academy again <laughs> for uh, not having any black movies in the... I'm boycotting. <laughs> I'm boycotting. No, actually, I just saw that for the first time. I didn't realize that that was a yeah, thing. That's a thing right that's now. That's freaking ridiculous. What? Um, are you saying you want another color purple or something, Aaron? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, not, actually, not, now not that you mention it, yeah. <laughs> if we're gonna remake movies in Hollywood, let's remake oh, yeah. the color purple. Is yeah. Whoopi Goldberg dead yet? 
No, no, she's still out no, there. Damn it. She's a billionaire. Okay, you gotta wait. You gotta wait. Same yeah. actors. Sorry. Let's just redo it. <laughs> yeah, just redo it. Run that one back. Yeah. <laughs> Is Whoopi Goldberg dead yet? No. Damn it. Line right, of the night wait. right there. Danny Glover, what you doing? Exactly. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah. You're not doing Lethal Weapon 8, so. Well right. he's too old for that go, All right. Up. Thanks for watching, everybody. For Madison Mata. Corey Vincent, the real David Webb that's a thief. I am Sir Aaron Carter saying, let's get that reboot of The Color Purple going, like, right now before they all die off. Let's go.